Alrighty guys, okay, so I've been meaning to do some knife videos for you, but I just cannot get, I just can't remember to do it. I'll start the video, I am starting to do this next thing, you know, I finished the knife and I forgot to record anything. So what I thought I'd try and do is maybe um, give you a few update videos because I've been a bit slack on the videos lately. So I thought maybe if I can just do some update videos, some short five minute, ten minute updates on what I'm doing, maybe daily, bi daily, tri daily, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so what I've been doing today, I've been uh, heat treating the latest knife. So I got a knife order from Simon. Simon wanted a nice looking Bowie knife, hunting slash just hunting knife. So I come up with this bad boy. Isn't that, this, is, this has got to be one of my favorite knives yet. It's hard to see the bevel, but the bevel goes all the way to like three quarters down the blade, goes to about here. It's like a massive big bevel looks nice let me tell you i just got it heat treated and it heat treated perfect so i've been working on that one we've got this little arm this little novelty cleaver going how's this the three finger cleaver i love this one too this one i reckon it's going to turn out smick i've got some g10 blue liner it's going to be lined with blue g10 with some nice oh, i forgot the wood what is it I forget the wood, I'll have to look it up. It's a nice orangey looking wood anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you the forge I'm getting into, but yeah, this one is coming up smick. It is gonna look awesome. A nice thin little handle, three finger novelty chopper. Let me know, these are all for sale people because I need to sell them to buy more stuff. And let me tell you, I'm only selling them pretty much for cost. They cost me about 50 bucks to make a knife because I'm using proper sword steel, proper carbon steel good handles, good pins. It cost me 10 bucks just for the pins to go in it. So it cost me about 50 bucks to make them. I'm selling them for 150. It takes me about a week to make them. It's like works out probably $2 an hour I'm making off these knives. So I'm not making much money, but it means I can make some more knives. So that's the goal, that's the goal. Just to be able to sell them, to buy some more stuff to make some more knives and I keep doing that, I'm stoked. So, Get involved if you want a knife. Now's the time to get it while I'm still learning and still selling them cheap because let me tell you, I'm going to get good at this. I'm going to get real good at it. I mean, knives are going to be worth a fortune. I can feel it. I can feel it because every knife just keeps getting better and better and better. And if I keep doing each knife a little bit better than the last one, mate, in a year or two, I'm going to be pumping out some hectic knives, that's for sure. Anyway, so get them now while they're still cheap because I'm just pretty much giving them away. 150 custom knife, message me, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and I'll cook you up a knife. So let's get back into what I've been doing. And let's get into the next one. I got this little nice little chopper too. This one is going to turn, oh, you can see the bevel on that just. It's hard to see under the scale because it's just come out of the freezer. I freeze them. After I heat treat them, I freeze them, then I temper it. So these are about to be tempered. These are about to go into the oven. So what you need to do, this is the, this is the cycle. This is how I heat treat my knives, if you want to know. I start off by normalizing the metal. So what happens, I heat them up to beyond critical and then just let it cool down in um, pyrite. Bring this down here. See, I've got a jar of pyrite here. This is um, stuff you grow plants in. But it has a really heat absorbing um, thing. So here's my forge here, down my little side alleyway with all the other rubbish. So, yeah, so I heat it up to, to be on critical, which means it's non magnetic and probably say nine, 900 to 1000 degrees. Like get it hotter than it needs to be to heat treat it. Then you stick it in the pyrite and that makes it cool down super slow. The pyrite makes it this temperature drops so slow so you can get a super super normalization or a um, what they call it a thermal cycling a really good thermal cycling with the um, pyrite so I do that I heat it up stick it in the pyrite let it cool down heat it up stick it in the pyrite do that three times three normalization cycles and that will make the grain size of the metal equal. So what I'm doing by normalizing it is making the grain of the metal all even sized. So even so when I do harden it, they're all going to be even sized bits of grain, even sized particles of metal inside there. And so it'll all harden even. Because if you have a really big bit, 
next to a really small bit, even though it's really hard, that could be, that bit there would be um, susceptible to cracking because of the big and the large particles next to each other, rather than having all equal sized particles, grains they call it, will make it a lot stronger even though it's hard. So then you heat treat it, get it up to critical, which means non-magnetic. Non-magnetic, and that means that you can hit it with a, you can put a magnet on it and it won't stick. So once it's um, non-magnetic, then I'll quench it in some oil. You quench it in the oil, and then once it cools down, I stick it in the freezer just to fully lower that temperature real quick. Now you don't have to, you can just stick it in, you can stick it straight in the temper at 120. But I always hear these crazy guys that um, finish theirs with liquid nitrogen. So I can't afford liquid nitrogen, so I just stick it in the freezer. So that's the, um, so then once it's been tempered, once it's been heat treated, it'll go in the oven at 200 degrees for two hours. Then I'll let it cool down, air, t air cool, down to um, room temperature and you do it again. So you temper it twice for two, 200 degrees for two hours, twice. Let it cool down uh, room temperature. So that's what I've been doing today, getting into this. Let's take you over and I'll show you my backyard forge before we get going. It is a, it's a barbecue coal starter. Just fill it up, it's nearly empty now because I finished a while ago. So what you do, you fill it up and then I get an air, an air compressor and just pump the air up through the bottom. And that'll get the coals hot enough to um, do your heat treat. And if you'd stuck it in there now, just with no air, you wouldn't be able to get the metal hot enough. The coals don't burn hot enough unless you pump air through the coals. So once I uh, fill it up full of coals, pump the air through it, and then I get it. But I come up with this idea, I might cut out one of these holes, one of these holes into a square, so I can stick the knife straight into there, because that seems to be where all the heat action is. And then I probably wouldn't need as many coals, and wouldn't waste as many coals either. So there's a little update for you guys. I'll try and do it every day for you and I'll try and keep you updated on the, the knife process. So the next process is going to be knocking this scale off in some vinegar, then sanding it back. Once I sand it back, I can stick the um, handles on it, finish her up, and she's off to Simon. All right, Simon, so I hope you like the knife so far. Should be finished next week, buddy. And man, I'm getting them. I've got so many knife orders. I'm loving you guys. These are pumping out, making more money than I ever made on jiu-jitsu. And I'm not even really doing it. So I'm loving it, guys. So keep up the um, knife orders. Because, man, I'm going to be pumping them out. So if you want one, let me know. I love this knife. Every knife's my new favourite. This one's got to be my favourite thinking a nice red wood like a real ready red wood let me know in the comments I've got a red wood and a white wood that I'm choosing from a maple a white maple or like this really red wood let me know in the comments what you reckon red or white loving it all right guys there's a little daily update for you I'll try and keep them up I'll try and count try and pump them out for you every day I'll tell you what I'm up to I'll tell you where I'm at See you soon in the next one. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit everything.